Chit chat with cutie, that's what they said, yep. Chit chat with cutie was killing. Chit chat with QT for all of this tea. Hey cuties, thank you guys so much for joining me for another video. If you are not subscribed, please make sure to hit that subscribe button for me. Guys, we got a chance to meet Ali. We met Ali. And let me just say, he's very handsome. Um, but first, let me give a shout out to one of Mel's largest support groups on Instagram, Melody Cherie Updates. If you guys are not following her page, please make sure to go over there and follow. She is on the case when it comes to everything. I love, love her page. But her and I were chatting in DM and I let her know that I believe in divine timing. And with Mel and Ali meeting each other the way that they did, parasailing, they both needed a partner to parasail. And this friendship, hopefully it will continue started. He definitely seems like a real gentleman. A real gentleman. Uh, let me say this. I did have to chuckle just a little bit. Uh, I'm like Mel. I'm going to throw a filter on. It's not because I'm ugly. It's just I like filters. And I had to chuckle a little bit when it showed Ali with some long, long eyelashes. Um, but yeah, handsome guy. Um, you guys, take a look at this clip from Mel and Ali going live. And guys, don't blow up Ali's email address. I'm sure Mel is gonna tell him, especially if that's not his business email address. Go ahead and change that thing because Mr. Martell Holtz will probably be the first one to reach out. Martell's ass probably emailing him as we speak. We know he a nutcase. And yeah, even any future billionaire friends of Mel. We don't need that man to have his contact info. But take a look at the video, guys. I'll be back at the end with a little more commentary. How are y'all doing? Hi. Hey, hey, hey. Let me let y'all get in. So if you have been paying attention and following me today, you know I always keep y'all updated. And if you've been following me today, you have heard me talk about my newfound friend who I met recently, who has been just so knowledgeable. Hey, mama, I see you on here. Hi, mom. Don't make sure y'all go follow her. Um, but if you have been following me today, you guys um, were able to know that I met someone today who has been super sweet and we've been having some just bomb conversations. And y'all know one thing about me, um, I love to pass information on. Um, I love for you guys to learn. I love for you guys to be able to take something um, from whatever I have going on. So Ali, y'all said I couldn't go to dinner and I told Ali, I said, Ali, listen, the melometers said, that I cannot go. I had to tell them what the melometers, what you who y'all are, you know. I can't go to dinner unless you come on this live. Okay, so guess who I have? <laughs> Here's Ali, y'all. Hey, hey, hey yeah. everybody. So can I take over from You wanna take oh don't be trying to take my phone. Wait a minute. I'm just gonna take over. So uh <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is funny, uh, but this is my first video ever on uh, social media. Yeah. And what I would like to say is that, you know, the secret to living is giving. And, uh, you know, your income is in direct proportion to your contribution. So me and uh, uh, Melody, we, we were talking about, you know, what is, what is something we can share that is you know uh you guys can put into action right away and it's it's a very simple thing one simple thing 
uh, that you could do, the biggest muscle you will ever build is the muscle of habit, a powerful habit. And it's a simple thing you can do. We, I could share an example of that with you. And that is like, you know, for example, if your physical fitness, your body, the temple of your soul, if that is, that is your um, thing you want to transform first, which I would do, um, is, you know, say wake up at 6 a.m. a day or whatever your schedule is, but set a time and just get out of the house. Get out of the house for 10 minutes. Don't do a run. Don't do. Don't go crazy because you might be sore next day and it might like set you back a little. So do one small thing. Just put on your workout gear and get out of the house for 10 minutes. Come back. But here's the key. Do it consistently. Do it for 20 days, 22 days. And then after that, what you will start to realize is it'll become easy. It will become at least 60 or 70 percent easier than before. I'm sorry. I made a mistake. We don't have more lobster. And they don't have lobster. So, so. <laughs> so, yes, yes, yes. So, well, that's real life, right? We are trying to have lobster and they don't have it. So, in any case, so back to uh, the goal here. Try to be persistent. And there's another thing called habit stacking. There's something you naturally do, for example, when this becomes easy for you to get out, get out of your house, get out of your apartment, your house, just go for a little walk. You can stack another habit with that. Uh, for me personally, uh, what I can share, what helped was I never meditated. I thought one day I would probably do it. And after I got the walking habit down, then I started to do just 10 minutes of meditation with the Headspace app or whatever app you want to use. And I would reward myself with just green tea or coffee and just do that persistently and the benefits i found were just magnificent like i would see the time started to slow down for me i was more present in my conversations with people and uh, with myself uh, just more focused these are the things i did not initially thought would happen but they were the benefits that started to show up so um to sum it all up uh, focus on building a habit. There's a great book I would recommend to anyone. It made the biggest difference in my life and I have read like over 600 books in personal development and it's called The Power of Habit. Yeah, that's true. Uh, atomic Habits, sorry. Not Power of Habit, Atomic Habits. It has all the charts you can print out, put by your bedside for habit stacking, for enforcing the habits. Build great habits, guys. Uh, forget the New Year's resolution. Every day is a new new resolution. Okay, I like that. we forget it. You know, so many people start off in January. Your gyms are full, and then a month later, nobody shows up. Even if you screw up, we are on a vacation. I'm splurging now, but other than that, I'm like doing one meal a day, fasting mostly, taking care of myself. So every day, you just keep, just don't break the chain just continue okay you break the chain of habit try to jump right back into it the more consistent you are the stronger it will get and that's the biggest muscle you're ever going to build and hopefully it will have lasting benefits for you guys. I love and that. Tell me what you said earlier about knowledge. Remember earlier when you talked about knowledge? Yeah so there you know all this question things from first principles basis which is you know, people always say knowledge is power, and I say that is bullshit. You know, knowledge is potential power. The real power is the ability to act. You can listen to this, get pumped up. You could read a lot of books. It's not going to change your life. What's going to change your life is action. Just repeat action. Action is the habits are what ultimately leads you to a destination, which we like to call destiny. And uh, you know, the, those habits get cultivated over time. Think of it this way things in this life tend to lead to their opposites. For example, you know, uh, there's fire, there's water, there's electrons, there's positrons, there's cold, there's hot. So when you exercise restraint, what you get from that is freedom okay so 
keep that principle and framework in mind and when you want to go for that chocolate chip cookie or that drink just remember this you're borrowing from your future happiness and that small act of saying no will build your character and give you the strength a mental callus of sorts and that's what you want to go for because ultimately that will give you unbelievable rewards and it doesn't take that long there is something called lag time when you have momentum going you know you should try to change your course and it doesn't happen right away you don't know if it's going to work but if you are exercising the same principles over and over again it does work okay so just stay strong guys and uh Keep going for it every day. And Thank one you. more thing before you leave, they want to know what you do. And then you can go. <laughs> then we can go to make the dinner. Because I told him he had to go live. Y'all said he had to go live yes. for me to come to dinner with him. So yeah. they want to know what do you do. Well, well, what I should be doing is this. <laughs> you should be. <laughs> uh, what should I should be. be. And she is kind of helping me break my mold of being shy and not being on camera. But what I do is, uh, in simple English, I'm a doula for the biggest product companies in the world so like apple amazon tesla whenever they're building something or they're designing a new augmented reality headset for an f-16 fighter jet i come in and i help companies make those things before the world ever gets to see it so it's the biggest joy of my life i really enjoy it and it's thrilling it's also very addictive which is a trap <laughs> but, but uh, you know, that's what I do. Awesome. Okay? Yay. Thank you, Ali. Okay, so y'all dropped some love over here. <laughs> y'all dropped some hearts and love for Ali. I told y'all he was so sweet. Isn't he sweet and so knowledgeable? We've been having some amazing conversation, y'all. Um, so there, everybody is saying it's you're so smart. Thank you. They said they like you, Ali. You, y'all, this is his, listen, this is his first life. Okay. Can I say so one more thing? You can say one more. Oh, she kind of got comfortable. Yes, so I don't have a proper Instagram account. I would like to sign up for one. Uh, it just comes with me trying to live in the moment. But my email is has to happen at gmail.com. Okay, it's like H A S T O H A P P E N okay. at gmail.com if any one of you like to connect. And once I sign up, hopefully um, uh, you can work me up, right? Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. thank you, thank you. Yes, of course I will. Yes, I will, y'all. <laughs> now look, now, Lena, I didn't tell you we're going to get everybody your email address. And then we're going to have to talk about this when I get off this line. <laughs> now, I ain't say he could give y'all his email address, okay? <laughs> Show <Shameless> this plug. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, they say it has to happen at G. They posting it in the live. Listen, I'm gonna have to get him and teach him some things when we get out this live because ain't nobody tell Ali that he can uh, give y'all no email address. But that's all right. Listen, but look for real. This is his first. This is his first, first live ever, yes. ever, first ever, first ever. And I'm gonna tell y'all the fact that information it flows so easily, very knowledgeable. So. um all right, um, his email, I see y'all said, what's his email? Let me say it again. It's has to happen, H-A-S-T-O-H-A-P-P-E-N at gmail.com. Okay, all right. And please I, don't spam me. Okay? Don't spam me. <laughs> <laughs> Ali said, just, please don't spam me. Just legit him. emails would be legit nice. Legit emails would be nice, he <laughs> said, okay? So listen, all right, so we're about to enjoy dinner. I love y'all so much, um, and I will talk to y'all next time. Bye, y'all. Ali came right out of that shy shell. I really enjoyed all the gems that he dropped. There were a few people that were clowning him in the comments, but he was speaking facts. And that's one thing that I need to get back on as far as creating a habit. Now, I have heard that it takes 21 days to create a habit. And he mentioned that in this video. And yeah, I need to get my butt back in the gym consistently because once you hit that three-week mark, then it's just easy peasy. But what a great guy. What I really enjoyed the most was Ali can communicate. He can hold his own. And we know 
We haven't seen that when it comes to the only person that I have to reference is Martel. Martel chokes up, can barely say anything other than things of that nature. But it was a great life to me. Mel did her thing today when it comes to being on Instagram. First, it was Shanita and now Ali. But you guys, drop down in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. As I mentioned, divine timing, even if it's just for a good, good friend. So drop down, guys. Let's chit chat about it. Please also make sure to like the video, hit that notification bell, and subscribe. Bye.